Hi guys, welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. Last time we raced Nayland to the Fount of Rajivari, and if it wasn't clear before, after finding the hollows of Rajivari's old students, we learned that his teachings were mostly what a good Jedi would call dark side. And although the meeting with old Raj himself makes things more grey in Sinva's eyes, when he tells her that attracting Nalan was a big mistake, she's been set ablaze, poisoned and dazed. So maybe not the best judge? Kaisen is captured by Nalan's people and is mortified when Sinva rescues him, telling her that now he's lost favours with his goddess, the scorekeeper. I guess his only option was to follow a Padawan after that. Sinva is pondering about the Jedi Code while trying to beat Nalan to the finish line. She just can't accept that feelings are bad and that pity and compassion are frowned upon just as much as hatred and fear, according to the Jedi teachings. She is also reminiscing about discussions she had with her old master and seemed to miss them dearly. When we return to Sinva, she is holding on to a lightsaber crystal, as she and Kaisen has just climbed the stairs to the forge. Fitting that it's you, armed with the last lightsaber this forge will ever make. Look at her! Another Jedi to nod and preach and do nothing while the Flesh Raiders ravage our home! Wrong. I don't preach. I know Rajivari's secrets. Horrors that the Jedi, this Jedi, have been chasing. And only I can protect us, our families, and our future. I'd like to hear what the others make of your opinions. Nalan, this is... You're going too far. How is this protecting us? I did this for all of you. If you can't see the danger, I'll show you myself. It's over for you. Let's have this done. You know you're gonna lose, right? See this lightsaber? No? I'd forgotten the smell of my own blood. I, I yield. You beat Nalan Rowley? You're not really surprised. Please, you're not going to kill him. There's only one way this can end. No, please. He's Calicori's hero. It can't end this way. The decision isn't up to me. I should consult the council first. But we still lose him. The village needs Nalan's help. How are we going to keep it together? Relying on others to protect you makes you weak. Remember that. We could always depend on him. Maybe we pushed him into becoming this. We can carry Nalan to the temple, Master Jedi. He still belongs to us. I have no idea why you would still claim this man. Perhaps not, but this is a beginning, not an end. I don't believe in this scorekeeper. How can I be her herald?
You're welcome to accompany me, whatever your reasons. So I couldn't kill him. I wanted to, but I couldn't. Hey, at least we saved the forge. We've been waiting for you, Padawan. You've already met Master Jarek. This is Master Satil Shan. Master? I've been treating Nalan Ralak. The pilgrims who carried him here told us of your battle. Remarkable. Is he still alive? How bad are his injuries, Master Satil? I wasn't sure he would survive. He will. Though it will be a long recovery. Seems we have much to learn about the villagers. Perhaps we should rethink our position. Good. Enough, enough. Padawan, the Fount of Rajivari. You actually set foot there? Please, tell me everything. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had a chat with old Raj. Master Rajivari himself spoke to me. What was left of him? You saw a false apparition mm -hmm. of Rajivari? This is extraordinary. Seems you may have been right, Yuan. I apologize to you and your Padawan. No longer a Padawan. She carries a lightsaber. That I do. She has proven herself. We judge you ready to accept your place as a Jedi. You on, if you would. Before this council, I take from you the title of Padawan. I name you a full Jedi of our order. Honor the past, work for the future. May the Force be always with you. You've done so well, my student. I'm... Master Yuan? Master! What's wrong? Come away. Yuan, can you hear me? Well? How's she doing? Yuan is resting comfortably for now. It seems she's suffering some kind of illness. Some kind of... I can't lie to you. Her condition is grave. Master Yuan had been acting strangely. What? You knew? You knew Yuan was ill and didn't inform us? You could have told us. I thought you were friends. We could have helped her. Uh-huh. We're sending you on to Coruscant. Our researchers there have been recovering artifacts from the first Jedi Temple. Then I'm good. They may have something to cure you on. Take a shuttle and join you on on Coruscant. Mm -hmm. She will need your help. Right away. I will do everything I can to make her well. Meantime, assure Yuan we will be studying your discoveries about Rajavari. Some of the claims his apprentices recorded bear investigation. When you reach Coruscant, go to our embassy in the Senate Tower and find a researcher called Atros Finn. He'll be expecting you. Good luck to you both. And may the Force be with you. You sure about this, cousin? The wildlife there, they carry blasters. Well, the shuttle is 
still there. There's more to life than hunting, Quizen. Sure, of course. You on first, then everything else. Ah, you're here. It's a great pleasure to meet one of the Republic's finest. Oh? I read the report about your handling of Nalan Raylock on Tython. Extraordinary work for a young Jedi. I know, right? You flatter me, sir. Please continue. If only I weren't here on business. Hold your banters. I represent Venara Kao, Senator of Coruscant. She not only speaks for our capital world in the Galactic Senate, but oversees this planet's government. Senator Kao leads the effort to rebuild what was destroyed during the Sith Empire's invasion. Healing those old wounds has been slow and painful. It's been decades. You should have rebuilt by now. The war's been over a long time. It's hard to believe we're still recovering. Some wounds run deeper than others. This world faces many a crises. A shattered infrastructure, a booming refugee population, whole sectors descending into anarchy. All of these hinder the rebuilding. Oh, why? Senator Kao believes you're specially qualified to deal with a dangerous and urgent threat. She'd appreciate the favor of a meeting. Immediately. You're telling me you've been waiting for me specifically? How long have you loitered around the spaceport waiting for my shuttle? My time is the Senator's time. And I never wait for long. Senator Kale is the greatest leader we've had in decades. She'll not only rebuild this world, but the rest of the Republic with it. Speak to Minister Immo at the Senate Tower. Tell him you're expected. Good luck, and welcome to Coruscant. Thanks. I don't understand. Lots of refugees means lots of manpower, right? Wasted potential, if you ask me. Kaisen, you're mumbling. I can't hear you. My senses are busy soaking it all in. Aren't you amazed? And imagine being up there looking down on this. Why aren't people standing here looking? Are they bored of the view? you like to live in a manner appropriate to your lofty status while also supporting the Republic? Strengthen your political connections and expand your influence in the galaxy like never before with your own strategically located stronghold. Use your stronghold to build a power base, guard against your enemies, heck, throw a party, throw lots of parties, make your success known. Is it hyperbole to suggest that owning and showing off a stronghold might be the most important thing you ever do for the Republic? That isn't for me to say. Buy your stronghold now. Do it for the Republic and for yourself. Emirati Ivo, Semper Finst Jun, Omnisan, Dumul Ganyor Nar. Special appointment, am I? Thank you for coming on short notice. I'm Senator Venara Kale. Forgive my abruptness, but time is a luxury I don't possess. 
As you may have heard, Coruscant is overwhelmed with refugees fleeing Imperial tyranny. Many have been here since the war. The refugees took over the old galactic market sector, huddling in shops and warehouses that were abandoned during the sacking of Coruscant. They refused to leave. And why should they? You're ignoring the resources you already have. Is the Republic doing anything to provide for these refugees? Resources are scarce. There's only so much we can do. As so often happens when fear and poverty dominate, a criminal element has risen to take advantage of the situation. The Migrant Merchants Guild began as a political advocacy group for refugees. Over the years, it transformed into a ruthless and murderous criminal syndicate. Do the gangsters have a power structure? A leader? It's a consortium of powerful crime lords. When one falls, another takes his place. It makes them difficult to defeat. The Migrant Merchants Guild has grown increasingly hostile and violent. Their criminal enforcers have acquired military-grade weaponry. Earlier today, their thugs took to the streets. They attacked our security personnel, set fires, began rioting. We're facing an armed insurrection. This huge city planet can't deal with a small riot? A battalion or two of the Republic's finest will solve that problem. A full-scale military response is out of the question. The collateral damage would be more than we can bear. For generations, the old galactic market was Coruscant's central trade hub. Its importance isn't merely economic. It's a symbol of the Republic's freedom. The comm channels are jammed. We've lost contact with our security forces. I need your help ending this crisis. The criminals must not win. They won't. You've hired the best, Senator. Just sit back and relax. I can't promise that, but at least I have hope. Do whatever you must to save innocent lives from that criminal filth. Find my security chief, Captain Winborn. He'll help. Good luck. Okay, enough of this. This is the second time people have been hijacking me. All right, it's probably for the same course. But still, we need to find out how Yuan is doing and if there's some improvement. I failed. I failed. I failed. I'm sorry. I failed. Once there were two little boys. Their names were Parkhanus and... and something. Why can't I remember? You on? What's going on here? The story. The other little boy in the... Padawan. I'm not mad. No one said The man in the shadows is making me this way. He brings the darkness. It's coming. Can you start from the beginning, please? I can't help you if you don't calm down. Parkhanus! Parkhanus, where are you? Yuan? Farron? Please, see Yuan back to her room. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm Atris Finn, the researcher here. We must get to work finding a cure. Of course. She keeps talking about someone called Parkhanus. Who is that? You don't know either? Never mind. A cure is what Yuan really needs. I agree. The problem is that the greatest collection of learning in the galaxy, the Jedi Temple here on Coruscant, has lain in ruins since the war. I believe the answer to curing Yuan is in the archives of the Temple Ruins, but accessing them won't be easy. Don't you have a backup system? How can you be sure the answer is in the Jedi Temple? Perhaps there's some place else you could look. If it was known to the Jedi at any point, it's in the Temple. The temple's artificers created a system to sort through the vast stores of knowledge. A set of three holocrons that served as guides. The wisdom and personalities of the Order's greatest masters were imprinted on these guides, which they called Noeticons. Let me guess. These Noeticons formed a sort of virtual Jedi Council? That's exactly it. And I need your help to recover them. The temple ruins were looted. The Noeticons were taken... I have a lead on one of them, but it's not in friendly hands. Of course not. Republic security spotted some Gan scavengers carrying an Oedicon in the Migrant Merchants Guild. The Republic brought one of the Gand in for questioning, but he won't talk. Oh yes, he will. He just hasn't met a Jedi yet. If this Gand has information to help you on, I'll get some answers. The Republic officer you want is Alec Efren. He's at the security outpost with the Gand right now. And I'm working on a lead for the second Noeticon. I should have something by the time you get back. Yeah, you should. Good luck.
Well, also, I hope those Noeticons will be more helpful than the council. Wait. He... He's wearing a mask in the Bakta tank. Huh. I was sure they had to breathe in the Bakta and fill the lungs with it. I guess not. Hey, isn't that an alert on the system? Should it... Never mind. What am I doing? Let's go, Kaizen. I wonder... Did someone infect Yuan with something? She's been ill for a while, right? So it's been a slow development? Could she have found an artifact that somehow did something similar to her that Rajivari did to Nailan? Has she been poisoned, perhaps? No... The doctors would have found it then. I take it they're scratching their heads, not knowing what to do with her. So then we're left with something in her mind. Did she have issues growing up? <laughs> okay, so I'm laughing because it came out wrong. Well, let's hope the Noeticons have excellent, excellent information. Hang on, I want to have a look. Look, they're right below us. That speed. You think I can drop down and, and hit one of them? Take a tour? No? I wonder if this fence can hold me. Kaisen, wanna try? How much do you bet I can hit a speeder? What do you mean the tarmac is not moving? Uh, the one a kilometer down? Okay, yeah, I guess it's a bigger target. I'm a bit miffed I can't drive this thing myself, though. That it's pre-programmed, it's a bit disappointing. Maybe I can hack the system? And take a tour myself? I would love that so much. Wow. I almost don't know where to look, actually. There's so much to see. But we ain't got time for that. Maybe later? When we found the cure. Jedi, welcome. Welcome to the, um, old galactic market, uh, sir. I'm sorry, I just... I never met a real Jedi up close. Yeah, I'm kind of amazing. I could certainly get used to being a celebrity. Um, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway. This is the, uh, Gand we brought in. He was talking about that Jedi holocron you're all looking for. But he's not exactly, uh, talkative. I'll fix that. Oh, look who's talking. You will talk to me. You want to talk to me. You will tell me about the holocron. Who is this Lars Baddick? That breathing is disturbing, though. Just tell me where it is now. Get on with it. That seems excessively complicated. I'll bet the signals have something to do with the Gand hierarchy. Throw up the right one and, and you'll get their leader. Don't worry. I'm probably not going to be talking to a lot of Gand, I imagine.
Oh, so here's where the riot starts. You're mumbling again, cousin. Stop talking and get ready for a fight.